Welcome back to Slick Quick Cooking Show. We will be cooking with our favorite chef, Char. It's an honor being here today. Thank you, Bob, and uh, I want to thank Lester for setting this all out for me. And uh, so today we're going to be cooking my own secret in, uh, secret recipe that the world has never seen. It's uh, called ch uh, chocolate chip peanut butter cookies. It's it's going to be amazing. Uh, last year he forgot to clean up a little bit. Uh, I'll just put this in the garbage disposal. Thank you, Bob. No, not me. Uh, sorry about the two-week delay. Uh, those eggshells really hold on to your fingers, and though your fingers don't really hold on to you. Uh, anyways, let's get started. Thank you, Lester, for setting everything out again, and uh, thank you for cleaning up again. <laughs> Okay, let's get started uh, with our secret recipe. Um, let's start by melting the butter. Lester, you forgot to put this on. Okay, let's start by melting the butter. You need to use a bowl. Okay, uh, Lester, if you could clean that up. Uh, okay, we're gonna start by putting the peanut butter in in the butter. I think we need a spoon. Lester forgot to wash the dishes, so I'll have to use a knife. Okay, so let's put the egg in there and uh, the honey, go ahead and put that in there and uh, the taste good. And uh, then we'll mix it up with a whisk and, uh, and if it looks like peak, that's what you want. Okay, let leave that there and uh, to put the, I think this is flour and uh, something else, a little bit of that and uh, uh, baking something and uh, stir it up and uh, some sugar, lots of sugar, we want it to taste sweet. If it don't taste sweet, it's not cookies, and uh, then some chocolate chips. That looks like a bunny, never mind. Uh, okay, now we're gonna put this and just gently stir it in. I'd use a, a beater, but after the last incident, the uh, I'm not allowed to use anything with electronics. Okay, yeah, that looks good. It looks like a, a beehive with little bumblebees in there. Okay, now we need to put this on a pan. Okay, we've got to roll them out into little globs and uh, roll them with sugar and then put them on there and smash them with a fork. Okay, yeah. Uh, let's put a few globs in there and uh, um, roll them around a little bit. Okay, put them in on the pan. We'll do eight per pan. All 
Okay, let's put them in the oven. Well, it smells like they're ready. Oh wow, the chard. You know that's how I got my name. Uh, I wasn't named until I could. I was allowed to use the oven. I was about two. Ah! I was using an oven, man. <laughs> yeah, uh, cute little guy, ain't he? Uh, no, no, don't pull those too hard. I just had him stitched on. <laughs> I'm just kidding, he's not real. Okay. Uh, so, uh, these don't look so good. Uh, you can eat them like this, but it makes you want to gag. Um, oh, that, look at that little one. There went the little one. Okay, so, we need to. Yeah, we're going to do the same thing. Um, uh, you can do a few tricks with it too, uh, if you're if you're bored of doing it. You know, but... Oops. Oh, I stepped in it. Anyways, I'm going to kind of smush them, make them look like a tic-tac-toe board with too many lines. That one sticks to you, like eggshells. Alright, let's put them in the oven. Here's your cookies. It's really great. Good. Uh, there you go. Um, is there peanut butter in this? I smell a lot of peanut butter. I'm allergic. It's cooked, so it's okay. Okay. So, how's it taste? Thanks, Jared. This is really good. Bo, how do you do that? That looks like my sister. Back to you, Bob. Uh, uh, thank you, Char. And see you next time on Sweat Quick Cooking Show.